All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless Dave here talking about real music in real time for a few real people out there just like you and just like me. All right, I don't have a CD this time. I have a book. All right, if you haven't seen this book, this is The Bodies of Others by Dr. Naomi Wolf. Yeah, yeah, baby. Um, I do a lot of reading. I, I try to. It's really difficult because social media is everywhere. I pick up my phone. I'm just like, oh, look, 62 notifications here. Um, getting really tired of the tech world. So um, sit back, uh, have yourself maybe an adult beverage and start reading this book by Naomi Wolf if you haven't you really need to one more time it's called the bodies of others <laughs> it'll explain what happened in vivid detail three years ago yeah and still going on uh david coverdale proves that it's still going on the uh white snake front man uh spoke about the band's decision to cancel several european shows last summer and pull out of its previously announced north american tour with the scorpions last fall due to his continued treatment for a persistent upper respiratory infection. Now, full stop right here. I don't know what that means. Uh, is that the thing? Is it not the thing? Notice how what the media has done over the last 12 months is they've, they've kind of recalibrated how to describe whatever it is that's going on out there. It's an upper respiratory infection. But if you had said that three years ago, they would have said, no, 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 it's the thing. It's the thing, hide, get under your couch. It's the thing. Anyway, I just find it amusing. What do they all call one another and say, okay, what do you wanna, what do you wanna call it now? How do we do this? How do we kind of pivot away? It's kind of like a guy who's in a room that he shouldn't be in and he tries to back out. You know, he's trying to walk out backwards through the back door and get out of there and escape before anyone sees him. That's what's going on, all right? It's it's so obvious, but <laughs> most people are just like, yeah, it's an upper respiratory infection, blah, blah, blah. What does that sound like? Anyway, uh, on June 28th, of last year, White Snake scrapped three shows of its spring summer European tour due to Coverdale's infection of the sinus and trachea. Three days later, the rest of the trek was also called off. At the time, David blamed the decision on continuing health challenges, doctor's orders, yeah, you because know, these doctors are really smart, aren't they? And our concern for everyone's health and safety. David was not the first member of Whitesnake to fall ill during the group's spring-summer 2022 tour. Guitarist Reb Beach missed several shows on the trek in June, and uh, after being, quote-unquote, under the weather. And by the way, it's okay to say that. It used to be completely okay. Remember when, at the height of this, everybody was bragging, well, I've got the thing, and this person's got the thing, and everybody's got the thing, and the thing is everywhere. Reminds me of a song by, uh, is it Mojo Nixon, El Elvis is Everywhere? Kind of <laughs> just changed the lyrics to the thing is everywhere. Anyway, um, and drummer Tommy Aldridge went down and was bad enough at the time to have missed the first show ever in his career, according to Coverdale. Tommy Aldridge. Now, um, what's my point? Well, didn't all these guys rush out to Walgreens didn't they just tell everybody this was the best thing, the only thing you could do to prevent stuff like this? And yet Coverdale is saying, hey, uh, I don't know when we're going to resume our farewell tour. Um, maybe we've already said farewell. Last year, I was so incredibly compromised by, without any doubt, the worst sinus infection I've ever had in my life. And as a singer, I know them like bleeping relatives of mine, which is kind of weird, a uh, strange way to describe a sinus infection, but okay. Um, this was one of the ugliest illnesses I've ever had. For seven months, I was taking ever-increasing st strong antibiotics and horrifying prednisone steroids. 
So um, I'm thinking this happened after everybody went to Walgreens. That's what I'm thinking. This was last year. Everyone went to Walgreens, what, in 2021? And then they went back again. People were saying, got to go every three months, every four months, every two months. You know, just go every week if you can. Because, you know, you need to stay up to date. So if you're not going all the time, then you're just not up to date. That's that's when they were, would say, well, you're not fully thinged. You're only partially thinged. Maybe David isn't fully thinged. <laughs> this language is kind of funny. It's just, it. you know, people use it back to me. They say, did you hear about so-and-so? They've got the thing. And I go, no, they don't. The thing just went away. It's not, it's an upper respiratory infection. What are you talking about, man? Come on, man. Um, Coverdale went on to say that he really doesn't know when he'll be back on stage. He says, I'll be 72 this year. But you know, my passion is that of a much younger man. <laughs> In other words, he wants to act like somebody much younger than himself, particularly with the new creative team that I have working on these legacy projects and also new things at the same time. It's like bluebirds flying out of every orifice. <laughs> he actually, let me say this again. He goes, the last sentence, it's like bluebirds flying out of every orifice. Oh. That is such great imagery, David. According to Coverdale, the time off will give him a chance to address a torn rotator cuff, so he won't be pitching this year. If you were thinking maybe the Yankees would pick up Coverdale, probably not because he's got a torn rotator cuff, and he'll try to get back in shape for what will be the remainder of White Snake's farewell tour, which was originally announced in 2021. When you announce something like a farewell tour, certainly, I want it to be the best shows I've ever done, he explained. Well, that would probably mean that he'd also have to have some other work done on his trachea, if you know what I'm saying, folks. <laughs> it's just, is there a White Snake uh, tribute band out there? There's got to be. I mean, there should be, because there's a market for it. He goes on to say, I want them to be unforgettable, unforgettable for me and the crowd. Unforgettable. Um, White, White Snake launched its farewell tour. I'm sorry about this. Uh, on May 10th, 2022 in Dublin, the band's 14 song set. Wow, they're just cranking out 14 songs. That's like a warm up for some bands, which was part of a European tour with special guests, Europe and co-headliners, uh, Foreigner marked White Snake's inaugural performance with the group's two latest additions, keyboardist, guitarist, and backing vocalist Dino Jalusic, who probably should be singing lead vocals, and bassist Tanya O'Callaghan for some eye candy. Um, Coverdale had both his knees replaced with titanium in 2017. That might be the problem, the titanium. You know, now he's made partly out of titanium. He later explained that he was in so much pain with arthritis in his knees that it hampered his ability to perform live. Now, if you've got all of these issues, right, wouldn't it just be time to throw in the towel and say, you know what, I had a good run. Rock and roll is not an old man sport. Can, can people come to grips with this? There are exceptions to this. I mentioned Donny Iris who just did a performance last month, which incredible, amazing. Um, he's 80 years old. And there are a few of them out there that are respectable, late 70s into their early 80s. Uh, Ringo Starr kind of defies aging because he's reverse aging because you know he's got whatever he's got. I mean, whatever Ringo, I know it's the broccoli for Ringo, maybe. He keeps saying, you know, I eat a lot of broccoli. And I go, okay. I don't know if that's it. I'm thinking he might have access to something that you and I don't have. In the case of Coverdale, maybe he ought to call Ringo, right? I wonder if Ringo went out and did the thing. I'm I'm thinking he probably did. But then again, maybe he didn't. It's weird because all the super healthy people and the environmental people, they all rushed out to do this. It goes against their orthodoxy, doesn't it? The natural organic. Is this natural and organic? Pfizer, is that organic stuff that you're getting from Pfizer and Moderna? 
Anyway, if you want to learn more about this fiasco, this is it right here. You'll learn all about it in vivid detail. The Bodies of Others came out a while back. I read it in a week. Typically, it takes me longer to read books because, you know, social media, right? This thing keeps going off like constantly. And then people are sending me. And look, I love you patrons. Thank you so much. I'm actually now struggling a little bit to keep up with volume. Since the Eric Clapton interview, I'm a thing again. I wasn't a thing, all right? But I'm kind of a thing in, like, five people's minds. So uh, I'm taking a lot of messages, and <laughs> I'm trying to respond to them. And the AI, you know, the text-to-speech uh, or speech-to-text, see, I'm really into this, right, doesn't always work the way it's supposed to. So words pop up that... I didn't say, and then people are like, this is gibberish. What are you sending me this back? Anyway, patrons, I appreciate you. YouTube members, if you want to sign up for YouTube memberships, eventually I'm going to be doing like private podcasts and things like that that are just for members. Uh, there's not enough of them. I mean, there's a few, but I did one explaining the comments situation and uh, went into some detail there. And you could see what's going on with social media. You could see there are bots and trolls and Neil Sean going through this with some weird online harassment. Gee, I wonder where that's coming from, huh? No idea. Um, anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Everybody says I, I just don't say it enough. I don't back sell enough on this, but please subscribe to the channel. And again, uh, Patreon for a dollar a month and YouTube memberships. And again, one more time for Naomi Wolf. This is a great book. Um, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. has a book too that I have, which uh, <laughs> I think he just announced he's running for president. And that's going to be interesting. That's all I could say about that. It's going to be interesting. I don't agree with everything, but it's still interesting and we need interesting. We don't need, you know, lawsuits and court dates. What we need is um fixing the stuff that's broken in this country and it doesn't seem like anybody's really into that everybody's just into a media circus and a cult-like uh following and all of that and uh that scares me it just does especially because we are in some real weird dark times all right i've spoken enough on this video thanks again talk to you soon